we're going to tell you about <laughs> life is what we're going to do. We've oh, been sitting here chatting it up. Um, a lot has happened since we last spoke. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> we are living in a different world, a different life. We're different people. Let us reintroduce ourselves. Yes. I'm Dallas. I'm Holly. And we are... We are in the new earth. In the new earth. We are new in earth the new vibes. earth. We are holler hippies in the new earth. Yes. We're up here. We're up here on cloud nine vibing. Where y'all at? Yeah. There's a few of y'all around that are up here with us, but come on up, guys. I know you're out there and you're listening. Um, you've been stagnant. You've pulled away. It's time to reel it back in um, or you'll regret it. Just giving you a friendly reminder. Yeah. Just know that, like, right now is a time of paying karmic debt. And it's like, guys, there's so much shit that's been going on. I don't even know where to start because, like, I guess, okay, let's start by this. Um, so, our friend Carmen asked us to come down here and house it for her. And Dallas wasn't able to come down and do it, so I came in and done it. And, yeah. guys... It's been like my, it was like orchestrated by spirit. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been crazy the the amount of healing that's been done, the amount of just stepping away from your own bullshit to reanalyze your situation and get it through a clear view, you know. Yeah, and not only that is us being apart. Yeah, right. You know? Which has had never happened. No, <laughs> y'all the, know we've been attached to him. We're, we're Gemini. Oh, we listen. This yeah, is a synchronicity. Great grandmothers are twin right sisters. <clears throat> yeah, and we're both um, rising Geminis. Yeah, our Gemini moons. Yes. You know, absolutely. And there's just so many synchronicities that we have. Yep. And we just had one. Like, we had, we've had, we been having some amazing things. Yeah, we just have one that was really confirmed for us. And yeah. get this, guys. This is big. We yeah. need to talk big. about this. Yeah, you go ahead. Um, so, in meditation, um, we were taught early on to go into th- third eye view and then to... Uh, also, as a focus point to pull you back to that in between where you can focus and <laughs> out, uh, is that we. Uh... <laughs> oh, I derailed. <laughs> I totally derailed. The third eye view. Third eye view, yes, yes, yes. So we were taught at, um, early on in our spiritual as we started meditating that shit yeah. ton. To say the words clear the mind, the body does not exist. Yes. And if you repeat that over and over, it puts you into a trance like state, yeah. which takes you to that in between. That's what I was getting to. Yeah. That. So, we've talked about um, that on the show. Tonight, 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 <laughs> tonight in meditation, I saw what looked like the form of an angel, the big wings. It was grayish, white. Oh, God, y'all. Y'all got to listen to this. Uh, And I'm telling you, it was um, just like what you would imagine what angels are described to or described as. And then we sit here in conversation. Holly's been having synchronicities about angels and spirits speaking through the digital age to let her know. Oh, yeah. He's in the uh, algorithm. Because what it is, is we we kind of had a bad taste in our mouth about angels in the yeah. In the religious form and how they uh, right. twisted their beings to to the greater to their greater good, which yes. is bullshit, as we know. Yeah. But yeah, uh, so angels, right? So uh, we've been having this song play for. Yeah, I'm talking to play a year now. Randomly, yeah. we we always hear this song, and it's an old '90s song. Yeah, so it's would, Black Crows. Yeah, um, she talks to angels. <laughs> So, I mean, it's a pretty big swift kick saying, you dumbasses, they're angels. <laughs> they're uh, angels. It's even okay as to much call as you angels. don't want to call it that, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. But for us, it's a higher being. Yeah, so, right. let's just make that clear because I think for us, it's like we don't want to be confined to any belief system per se. So, it goes against the grain. It's, it goes against you. And you you also figure out that you have this... Um, something that you need to heal about the church and yeah. about the religions yeah. and stuff because it's not about any of that. And no. if they're on the right path, they're on the right path. If they're not, they're not. Yep, and exactly. if they judge you, then you're. Why are you sticking around in them situations to be able to be judged? Exactly. You know, if you feel judged, move, baby. It, move. Exactly. The moment you feel judged, trust your instinct. You know, um, act on it and get them out of your yeah. lives. So it's let's. Not okay, worth we it. we got to get back to the synchronicity. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> She talks to angels, right? Yes. Yep. So then we were talking about our other synchronicities, and we had the Alice in Wonderland um, synchronicities that are no longer a thing anymore. So we've kind of 
fallen down the rabbit hole yeah, and here so we it's, are yeah. you know and we're in this looking at the world like you said in Carmen said colored yeah. glasses which is the new world vibes yes. and that's what we're, we're up here thriving so y'all need to come on over and, and you gotta heal yourself to get here guys it's as simple as that He's like the um, smoking, the hookah smoking caterpillar. Yeah, it, it's true. <laughs> if you want to get to where we are, which is fantastic, let me tell you, then that's how you get there. You work on yourself. You Excuse start me. to learn to love yourself. And then you you become more accepting of the fact that you are a, a friggin' badass and yeah. you remember who you are and you yeah. step into your powers. Yeah, so that synchronicity. Yeah. So, the synchronicity with the um, angels, we were getting to that. So, we both, um, at, I think on the same night, actually, oh, didn't yeah, know yeah, anything yeah. about it. And yeah. this is amazing. It is. It's so cool. Um, I about shit when Holly told me this earlier. I told him, I said, I've been having these synchronicities with angels. I was on this TikTok video, and then she was talking about, like, angels. And you know how I feel about angels. And I was like... But I was like, okay, like the reading was spot on with how I, everything in my life. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm going to do this. She's like, you don't ask for help. You don't yeah, ask them for right. help. They're not going to intervene in your life. Right. And so you're not receiving completely. Yeah, Absolutely. Right. You got to give them permission. And so I was like, well, shit. I was like, yeah. why? Why did it take me that long to even... Like, why? Same. And then what's funny is as she was telling me that I sat there <laughs> yep. and done the same damn thing. It yes. was probably at the same damn time. Yes. Wouldn't doubt it a bit. I saw that video and I was like, you know what? You, that's freaking right. How many times <laughs> in my whole life have I ever asked God for help? Like seriously. Or how? And, and then she, to point that out, you know, like yeah. how obvious of a step could you miss there? I know. And that's prevented us from receiving yeah. this whole time. Exactly. So, so we ripped that's that the away. Secret. Yeah. There Ooh, you that's listen. the secret. I knew we needed to to record this today. Yeah. But that's yeah. gonna help. That's, but listen, guys, if y'all followed us, you y'all know what kind of shit we've been, what kind <laughs> of messages we've channeled. Mm -hmm. They're all coming to formation. We are going to help build communities. We, we know our purpose. Yeah. We are helping build communities. We always thought it was just going to be us and a, our At community. At the retreats, yeah. Yeah, with the retreats, but no, no. Spirits we're going on the road. Us, yeah, that we are, um, uh, we originally wanted to keep it here in the Appalachian Mountains and bring people in to showcase the beautiful area <laughs> and just let them heal in the mountains because yeah. that's what we know it's good for, you yeah. know. But, but we needed to get, we need, I needed to get out of the mountains to yeah, heal. Right, right. And so that's what we're, we're focused. Spirit has yeah. shifted our focus to taking these retreats on the road. So yes. if you are interested in having us at one of your properties or whatever for a weekend retreat or even a week long retreat, we can talk about it, you know. Yeah, as long as your cannabis acceptable. Yeah, right. And it's um, a very <laughs> free love. We'll just put it that way. Not we're, free love. I mean, well, not free love. <laughs> Free love, but well, yeah, I, mean, I ain't like, giving all this to no you anyway. Listen, but... it's gonna have to take a divine masculine <laughs> to get up in this, okay? A divine <laughs> masculine, y'all. Mm -hmm. Honey, we have transformed, we have transcended, yeah. and I'm telling you, life has been gravy as fuck. Um, you're talking about working on boundaries and and understanding yourself as a person. Oh, yeah. Um, like understanding that you have felt alone your whole life. That was for me down here, mm -hmm. y'all. I've been doing some deep healing because y'all know I'm going through a divorce and like I don't like I've healed that divorce already unfortunately yeah. because I was keeping myself in a marriage thinking that I, I was suppressed I was very suppressed and so at home and me being here and going back home showed me how suppressed I was oh, yeah. so down here I've got my wings and they have and you know that's so weird about the angels that's another thing because oh, yeah. I, I keep saying I'm letting my wings spread oh yeah and, and what happened out there last night? Oh God! Yeah, we had last some deep night, energy guys. exchanges and like, stuff. Shit's been crazy, and also about the cave. Oh yeah, yeah. We, I, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, you if you guys have listened to pre, uh, previous episodes, we have talked about the cave, and it's something. It's a place that we have a, a collective of us have been to and gone to and, and man, separate. Yeah. Separately, separate not even known, yeah, not you know. even knowing that each other had been. Yeah, so it's all been very synchronous, 
but and we have also sensed other people yes. in that when we we been sure there, have you know? absolutely so, and everybody's had different experiences yeah it's been yeah it's been an ongoing thing too because yeah. sometimes i'll see it and it's at the night time and yeah. the flames are flickering on the walls and, yeah but yep so last night we mm-hmm. were in deep meditation and we walked we actually walked the property yes. line here in tennessee where we're at at our carmen's house um and she uh, we got out of nowhere we walked we we it felt like we were walking through a portal back yeah. through that woods. It was. It was, it was like, like walking it's through a, really a different little area dimension. that's got a tree, a tree here, a tree here, a tree here. Yeah. And it's like a little wooded area that you walk through. And we got toward the end of the property line there and we stopped. And then it, we went into a circle. And it was open. It was a huge energy. Um, you could feel it was like we were out of body, but our body was with yes, us. Absolutely. You know, it yeah. was like walking in that. Um, in between, you know, yes, like that yep. void, that yes. trance state, whatever. But our bodies were physically with us, yep. <laughs> so it was the strangest feeling it ever. Was. And then some crazy shit happened, and I think we it was a very beautiful ascension there. Uh, it was. It was uh, the uh, most beautiful of, ascension uh, ceremony that yeah. I have ever it, been it a crazy. part of. Been a yeah. Part of, well, yeah. I think you kind of graduated in energy work yeah, absolutely. at that point because. The energy, the yeah. way you learn to cl- you've learned to clear energy in a different way now. I have. It's a big, uh, it uh, is impactful a big one. way. Yeah. yeah, and I've been down here, and I was like, that's what I was telling Dallas when this happened last night. I'm like, I, I, like I actually didn't even say nothing. I guess that's how spirit works because I just let let it take at me, and that's where it took me. And I was just moving how I move, and that's how I've always done though. Yeah, it was very and orchestrated journey. moment. Yeah, where you could, I could see the channel yeah. mess. I could see the channeled energy. Yeah, I felt it. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it was like the buzzing. You know, it was like a strong. Yeah, energy. I know because I was like, Dallas, yeah. what did that and feel like? Because I don't know what it happened. It cleared a lot of the negative gunk and shit yeah. that I had with me that it needed to be cleared. Yeah. It was powerful. It went gone. Yeah. I don't know, man. It I, was a, I always it, said, and it culminated, and it was like a orchestrated dance kind of, but moving yeah. that energy. You know, if you're an energy worker, you yeah. move that energy, and it was like kind of what they do in Reiki or a natural energy healing, but yeah. it was beefed up tenfold, and yeah. that energy was clear and different. That's so you know? awesome. Like you learned to harness that energy more and. Yeah. Make it your bitch. Oh yeah, I have made it my bitch. Yeah. I'm I'm more powerful than I have ever been. Yeah. You know, and I'm not ashamed to say that. No, right. Because that don't power don't mean I mean, I actually said this recently, and yeah. we actually had the same thing going on because you made a video for oh, your the, reading the and you said, with, "Yeah, yeah with great synchronicity. power comes responsibility." Yeah, like did. Uncle we Ben from Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm telling you right now, if you are plugged in. It's crazy. Dude, then you <laughs> like, know. Yeah, then come you know. join us. But if you're not plugged in, plug in, honey. Yeah. Because the water <laughs> is fine. The water is absolutely fine. It's going to be okay. you got to let go. And I know if you're in the process of letting go right now, we got you. We're mm-hmm. still shining our light. We're going to let our this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little <laughs> <laughs> see that's been a synchronicity yeah, too it for it a very been. long time, and Ever now we're seeing it everywhere. Workers, you know, yes, absolutely. We were meditation. Yeah. You know. So we've been going through. Dallas and me have been separated for. Um, it's been. Is this the third week? Yeah crazy time flies by it might be even the fourth week oh fuck yeah i'm losing time i but guess either way we've been um living apart you know where we're yeah. we used to see each other every day and it's been a a big adjustment but it's yeah. been a good what it was was it had to be though because you had healing you sometimes you in life guys it don't matter if you're a person and you are together or not it's sometimes you have to be separate to heal things that you can't heal with each other. Yeah. Uh, about yourself, you know? So you have to step away and put yourself out of a situation to to analyze it and see what you need to, to do about healing, you know? Yeah. Whereas you couldn't see it if otherwise, yep. if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But anyway, life happens and that's what happens, man. You, instead of getting swallowed up in any kind of gunk, you get yourself up and you do what you need to do. We're, not, we're all human and we're not perfect, right? So we all have things that we need to work on. So why not sit and try to figure out, uh, because it's my favorite 
pastime. <laughs> Try to figure out what you can heal about yourself because it's possible to heal it. How fun is that? <laughs> I love it. So you can do that too, and it's as easy as that. It's easy as um, me sitting here telling you that. I've got to go pee. Sorry, guys. I'm roaming around. I've got the munchies. Roaming around. <laughs> hey, if anybody like wants to sponsor us for any cannabis cannabis products, please. Please reach do out. so. Absolutely, you're more than welcome to reach out onto our Facebook pages. Um, lots of crazy changes are happening right now. Um, uh, the more you heal yourself, the more you evolve as a person and the more your likes and interests change and you evaluate what you want to, uh, what you want your life to be full of. Because you, after you are accepting of your mortality, after you've come to peace with that, then, you know, you're still alive and you're still searching, so what else do you need to work on, you know? Um, it just become a big understanding to me that I needed to figure out what was wrong with me or what I felt like was wrong so I could fix it because I've always been a fixer, whether it be the person that I'm trying to help or myself. I've always wanted to fix or be better, and that's just been a natural desire of mine. I don't know why I am the way I am. God made me this way. <laughs> that was my soliloquy there. Thank you. I love it. God made me this way. <laughs> Damn it. I'm telling you, dot sprite or sprite zero is. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that. We don't sponsor. We're not sponsored by Sprite. I'm just. Talking and we're about just it. like we're just. Drinking. It's the nectar of gods. Let me tell you. Authenticity, baby. Oh my God. Shoo. Oh, that's another thing we can talk about is how, and I think we've probably talked about this 10 times on the show before is oh, yeah. how being your authentic self makes a difference in people's lives. Yeah, it does. Don't hide your awesomeness. Yep. Don't do it. Ever since I've been down here and I said I spread my wings, I was like, I'm just going to, into the things that I love to do. Tits to the wind is what we were Tits to the wind, about. exactly. And you know that, do not take that shirt idea. Uh, yeah, really. Okay, nice. I'm just right. saying, tits to the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody to reach out to us and sponsor our poor asses. Please, holler at me. Damn. <laughs> we want to. We We're wanna, full of ideas. We want to blossom, and we want to help you guys blossom with this. Yeah, we want to heal, heal yeah. the world. We create a lotus wherever we go. Yeah. And, and what is a lotus? A lotus is a place where time and space doesn't matter. It's a place where love exists and just is, and you're enveloped by it. Oh, the lotus. The lotus. The I'm telling you, time and space does not matter. Days go by, days on end. Oh my God, I gotta tell Carmen this. <laughs> days on Carmen. end. And if you tune into this vibra vibration that we're vibing on, I'm telling you guys, uh -huh. it is life changer. It's a game changer. But the way to get here, as I said earlier, is to heal yourself. Because, excuse me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, how rude of me. <laughs> yeah, so. And also, don't take yourself too seriously, man. No, hell no, don't. <laughs> sitting around worrying is only going to cause those little um, 11 marks above your forehead. <laughs> That's all worry does, so let that shit go. Uh, it, it makes you die early. It does. I mean, I'm trying to prevent anything in my life that might make me, you know, I want to extend my life because That's I want to extend my on. self, you know. It's just like, I know I don't eat perfectly, but I'm learning and I have come a long way. Oh, and, yeah. you know, guys, listen, when someone is a healer, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are healed. Mm -mm. We are always working on ourselves. Absolutely. But the beautiful part about it is is that people like us can be authentic about it. We ain't hiding it and mm -hmm. acting like that we just like was perfect and come out of the womb like 
Mm-hmm. You know, no, no. Everybody has their soul contracts. Nobody's perfect. But you are not the emotions that are given to you by the world and your mm-hmm. parents and whoever. I mean, yeah, you know. Yeah, rise above that shit. Take yourself out of your situation fully and look look at it down. Look down on everything around you. Yeah. All the energy forms that are around you. Mm-hmm. What is causing you grief right now? What is causing you pain? What is causing, you know, analyze all that shit, man. Um, until you start to do that, you can't really truly start to heal. Exactly. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to hit this pin and it's like being an mm. asshole. Yeah. But yeah, that's just, um, if you want to join us up here, that's how you do it. That's, this is how, actually how you do it is you go back and listen to the first fucking episode all the way up to now. Yeah, no joke. You can it's, hear our growth. It's a roadmap of our, it how is a roadmap. Is it it is, that we got to do that. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, we knew we had and to do this. This was this. spirit. This was not us. No, this was uh, spirit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was but us. Guys, when I say we've shit. given in in the past three years, we totally went balls to the wall spirituality. So we've lived all this shit and learned all this and shit. And living it. Living it, too, still. Absolutely. And we'll live it to the fullest. And I'm going to give y'all all the little secrets because I want Me everybody too. to win. I want y'all I up here winning I want everybody to win, win, win. No matter what. <laughs> Me too. Everybody gets a W in my book. All I do is win. But yeah. Yeah. I think that's a show. I think it is a wrap. That's a wrap, guys. Peace See out. Peace out. See you soon. Woo!